In this tutorial I want to show you how easy it is to make your footage look stunning with color correction. You will learn to take footage like this and turn it into this. Welcome to another episode in this series where we look into making better video with your Mavic Pro. You might think color correction is difficult to learn and you will be better off with the standard footage from the drone. Trust me, the process is super easy with the use of lookup tables. It's time well spent to get a far better result. I will be using DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta that is available for free from the Blackmagic website. This is an amazing piece of software, but for now we will limit the use to applying lots to enhance your footage. I will include a link in the description to where you can download it. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. You often hear terms like color correction or color grading in relation to post-production of video. The difference between color correction and color grading is that with color correction, the purpose is to try and fix flaws in the original footage. With color grading, the idea is to apply a certain mood to the footage. Normally it takes a lot of practice and good skills to do color corrections, but there's an easy way and that is to use LUTs or lookup tables. A LUT is uh, optimized specifically for your camera and will take your footage to a completely new level. With LUTs, it's like having your own color correction guy sitting next to you dialing all the knobs. It's not perfect, but it will give you a good starting point. There are many good providers out there of LUT, but we will use a LUT from a company called Ground Control in this tutorial. Casey Ferris has made a tailored package of LUTs that matches the footage from the Mavic Pro. This package is called Griffin and contains many different LUTs that will allow you to both color correct and grade your footage. I will include a link in the description below. Ground Control offers a free sample of their LUTs that you can use with DaVinci Resolve 14. You can get this sample for free if you sign up for the Ground Control newsletter through the link in the description. You need some sample footage to practice. This needs to be recorded in D-Log to preserve as much information as possible. The style setting should be minus one, minus three, minus three for sharpness, contrast, saturation. It's very important that you use these settings because the LUT has been optimized for that. I have included some sample footage uh, as a link in the description, so you can use that to practice if you don't want to record it yourself. Let's look at the checklist. First, download and install DaVinci Resolve. Second, download free LUT package from uh, Ground Control. Third, record sample footage or download my sample. Let's move to the computer and uh, fire up with DaVinci Resolve. First, you need to create a new project. I have created a project called test footage for the purpose of this demo. Once the project has been loaded, uh, there's a few things that you need to do in preparation. First, you need to set up the project settings. Um, this uh, is located on the master project settings. And what you need to pay attention to is the timeline uh, frame rate, the playback frame rate, and the video format. I prefer to use uh, the NTSC uh, standard of 2997 as this renders out the best result when Mavic records in 30 frames per second. Second, you need to go to auto save and uh, enable this. Also, uh, you can set the interval here or how often you want it to save. Also, you can enable this uh, live save thing that will help you uh, save uh, some of your precious work. You have to remember this is a beta version and uh, you don't want to lose uh, valuable work. Finally, we need to install a lot into DaVinci Resolve. And we do that under the color management tab. And what you do here is you open the lot folder like that. And then uh, you take your unzipped uh, lot file that we just downloaded from the ground control uh, website and drop it into this library. Say OK. So once it's in here, you can close this and then you need to update the list and press save. Now we're ready to do some color correction. Let me take you through the basics uh, of the workflow that you need to know to be able to apply lots to your footage. The workspace has been divided into five main tabs located in the bottom, starting from the left, the media, edit, color, Fairlight and Deliver. The Media tab is where you select the footage that you want to be included in your project. I can either drag a full uh, clip into uh, my media pool or I can select part of a clip by uh, using the shortcut keys I to mark in and O to mark out 
and drag part of the clip into the media pool. Down here we have the inspector and through the inspector you can see uh, important information about the clip. You can see the frame rate and resolution. In case you are mixing different uh, frame rates uh, into the same timeline, DaVinci will uh, offer to adjust the, the clip that does not match the current project settings uh, to match the timeline. So that's a pretty neat uh, feature. Now we move on to the edit tab. From the edit tab you have access to a full blown editor that will allow you to edit multiple audio and video tracks. I will not go into details in this tutorial on how to use this. So I'll just show you how to select a clip and add it to your timeline. Again, you press I for input. And then I say, okay, let's, let's take something like this. Oh, and then you just drag it into the timeline. Let's just stop it first, like that. Let's repeat that with a second clip. Let's uh, pick something uh, that's a bit different. Again, I and O and drag it into the timeline. You can rename the timeline if you like. So it's let's test footage like that. Once we have all the clips in place in our project, we move on to the color tab. This is uh, where you're going to do all the adjustments to the color of the footage. There are some important areas that you need to know in this tab. In the center of the screen you have the clip that you're currently working on. You can play back and you can even make it loop if you want to evaluate the uh, different uh, changes to the footage. In the lower left corner you have the primary coloring wheels. And uh, if you want to take them one by one, then the lift is adjusting the blacks, gamma is for the midtones and gain is for the highlights. With the offset wheel you can uh, offset the complete spectrum either up or down. In the opposite corner you can see your color spectrum and this should be set to parade because I find this is the easiest uh, view to work on. What's important to know about this scope is that the lower limit is uh, pitch black and the upper limit is pure white. All information contained in the footage should be within these two lines not to be cut off. Information that's being cut off will never be able to be recovered. This is why I recommend shooting in D-Log because all the information is nicely within the limits. Next to our clip there's a note section where you can add gradual color changes in notes. This means that I don't need to do all the changes in one step but can add them through a series of notes. The final result will be the sum of these notes. Let's apply a lot to our footage. You do that by right clicking on the node, go into the menu and find the lot that we installed earlier. And what you see right away is that the colors are changing to be much stronger and much more vibrant. As I mentioned, this is not always perfect. And in this case, uh, the pictures seem too dark. Looking at the scopes down here, you can see that the, the whole color spectrum has been pushed towards uh, the, the blacks. So to fix this, we need to take the color wheel and uh, take the offset and push the whole thing up into the middle. Of course, you can leave it either towards the upper limit or the lower limit, depending on your personal preference. But it's important that uh, none of the information is uh, exceeding the limits inside the scope. And now you can see the picture looks uh, really nice and uh, crisp. I know we are not normally recording in D-Log, but still I can uh, enable and disable the lot and uh, the difference is really stunning. Let's repeat the process uh, with the second clip that we have uh, selected. So let's take this one. And uh, because uh, we are only uh, applying a lot, I don't need to add more uh, notes like I did in the previous example. So I just go in here, I right click, go down and select the same one like that. And you can see again, the colors are changing and looking very nice. Again, yeah, it's squeezed a little bit towards the dark side, so I lift it. So everything is nice and not touching the limits. So look at that. This looks really, really stunning. Let's move on. We will skip the Fairlight uh, tab because this is related to audio and we don't have any audio in this drone footage. Once you are happy with the colors of your footage, it's time to render the final movie. This is done by the delivery tab. Blackmagic has made this super easy by doing a predefined setting for YouTube. You just need to go in here and select 1080p. You need to select the, the location of the file. You just add it to the render queue. 
and press Start Render. Once the item in the render queue says complete, you can go to the folder that you specified and see the final result. As a side note, Casey Ferris from Ground Control has a lot of tutorials on his channel that will help you master drone footage with Resolve like a champ. I would definitely recommend to check out his channel through the link in the description. In the beginning of this tutorial, I talked about color grading for adding a certain mood to your footage. Applying the Griffin LUTs from Ground Control are the same as for the free one. Let me show you some examples what they can look like. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, dripping light. Now you're all set and I hope you got the basic idea how to do this. First time can be a little bit tedious, but once you have installed everything, it's fairly easy uh, to repeat it. You can use another editor if you prefer and just use Resolve to create your footage. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you like this kind of material. Remember to press the like button, hit the logo to subscribe so you don't miss out on new stuff and see you on the next one.